Greetings, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to the Kamado Joe Cooking Channel. Today, we're gonna try something that I've been asked to do quite a few times. This is gonna be a little bit of experimental cook. Uh, we're gonna try to smoke some beef jerky on the Kamado Joe Classic today. So let's get started. First thing we need to do to get started on our jerky is make our marinade and uh, you can find recipes all over the internet but this one's really good it's one I've used before we're going to use about a half a cup or so of A1 steak sauce about a cup and a half of teriyaki marinade a half a cup of soy sauce about a quarter of a cup of molasses about a quarter of a cup of pineapple juice half a cup of Worcestershire sauce and then just a splash or so of special sauce. Then we're going to whisk all that together and then we'll set that aside while we get our meat ready. Okay, I've got a three pound cut here of bottom round roast. You can also use London broil but you want to use a fairly lean cut to make jerky with. You don't want a fatty meat. And my grain in this meat's kind of running diagonally here, so it's going to be okay if we slice this. You want to slice it against the grain rather than with it. So I'm going to trim off one of these edges here so I can get a nice flat edge to work with. And then we're going to go back and slice this as thinly as possible. Okay, after you get your beef sliced up, you know, try to slice it quarter of an inch thick or less uh, if you can. Helps put this in the freezer for a little while to firm it up so you can get it sliced really thinly. Just take all that and dump it right into your marinade. And when you get it all in the bowl with the marinade, just mix it up real well. And then what we're going to do is just put a piece of plastic wrap over this and you can put this in the refrigerator overnight and you know let it marinate for 12 to 24 hours okay in order to smoke beef jerky we're going to need to settle this joe in at a really low temperature and i'm going to target 150 degrees to start with i have taken a kamado joe fire starter and cut it in half because we don't want a very large fire at all i'm going to put it right in the middle we're going to light that up and let this grill burn for five minutes or so with the lid open. Okay, after our fire gets going, I'm going to place a few of the Kamado Joe cherry wood chips around the edge of the flame here so we can have a little bit of nice smoke for this beef jerky. I may place one right there on top. And the next thing we're going to do is set our heat deflector plates in the lower position on the divide and conquer cooking system rack and then we'll place each of our half moon grill grates right in the top position and then we're going to close the lid and I'm going to show you how we'll set the vents for this low temperature cook since we're going to be cooking at a temperature a lot lower than low and slow barbecue I'm going to put that maybe a quarter of an inch open just just a small crack in the bottom and on the top vent i'm going to slide the daisy wheel all the way over i'm going to slide the slider completely closed and just barely crack the daisy wheel and we're going to slowly watch this thing and try to get it up fairly stable around 150 degrees to start with okay so far so good we're stabilized here at about 150 degrees so I'm going to open the grill up and we're going to lay our jerky that's been marinating on here. We're just going to lay it all around the grill and we may have to use the extender rack. You can do a lot bigger recipe of this if you've got a couple extra racks to cook on. Now that I've got everything on here, we're going to close the grill back up and we're going to have to pay attention to the temperature here for a little while and we're going to let it stabilize back at about 160 to 175 degrees. 
Okay, to bring our temperature up between 160 and 175, I'm going to need to open the vents just a little bit more. We don't want to close them down to the point where we snuff the fire out, but we do want to bring the temps up to, like I said, between 160 and 175. I may crack the bottom vent open just a little bit more as well, and we'll keep on monitoring this. It's doing fine so far, and we're going to go for about eight hours. So we'll be back to have a look at this when it's done. Okay, I have managed to keep the temperature right around 175 degrees in this grill for eight hours. And our jerky is about done. It looks uh, pretty good to me so far. The next step, we're going to take this off the grill, take it inside, and let it rest on a drying rack for about an hour. So I'll meet you inside. Okay, I've laid out the beef jerky here to dry. I've got a little bit on my cutting board down below, not to dry, but just to equalize the room temperature. So we're going to let this sit for about an hour. Okay, this jerky's had time to cool. I'm going to take one of these pieces here, kind of break it open here. Look at that. It looks pretty good. So let's have a taste. Hmm. has a really interesting flavor. It's really good. The only drawback I can see to doing this is what you get out of what you put into it. You need a lot of racks. You need extra racks and you need to cook a lot of meat at one time when you do jerky. Give this a try. This is a new technique we haven't done before. Let me know what you think about it. Join us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Kamado Joe, and leave us a comment on the video. Until next time, this is John Setzler with Kamado Joe Cooking Channel.